2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. A lot of sharp dressers coming off that Spurs bus as they arrived at the arena. Pumped up and primed for action. Well, we can finally say it. The NBA regular season is about to get underway. And here at 2K Sports, we couldn't be happier. Along with Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. And a look at the starters for San Antonio. Rem Benyama is the center with Sohan next to him. The cell on the wing along with Johnson. And it's Jones in at the point. And for Phoenix, the big three for the Suns all on the floor. Booker and Beal as the guards. And KD at the four. Then there's Aiton. And it's a Kogi in a three slot. And Greg, when we tip off a new season, it's not uncommon to see some nerves or even sloppy play. No doubt. I mean, as a player, you put so much time and effort into preparing for the season. Sometimes emotions can get the best of you, and it can take a little time to settle into a game. And Katie, here we go. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for San Antonio. There's the pass to Vassell. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Now, not shy about bringing it inside. Vassell is comfortable around the hoop. It's Durant on the wing. Let's the three fly. Here's Ayton. And Ayton throws it down. That's what he gives you. A big-time presence on the glass. And you know what, Greg? Once he gets his hands on it, He's not even thinking about kicking it out. Oh, his competitiveness right now is why the teammates love him. Here's Wimbanyama. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Working his way for a high percentage look. That's just smart basketball. And that's a, a painted possession right there, a masterpiece, especially when the defense is not a factor. And the Spurs with possession. Johnson, a wide open look. A three-pointer off the mark. Phoenix is gone. 0-2 from deep here. And it's Vassell with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. And really, these are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. Ayton against Wembenyama. Shoots. Second shot opportunity, and Ayton with the layup. Ayton's got his second basket of the game. Defense unable to stop DeAndre Ayton that time, getting inside and using his frame. Wembenyama, and Wembenyama throws it down. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo. One of his favorite moves right there, guys. And finished off by Katie. Well, on top of just flat out scoring, Booker can really pick apart defense. Here's Jones. Now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter. And this shows you what a superstar KD is. I mean, the NBA world stopped when that deal was made. Yeah, you just shift the axis of the league. Look, you have this elite scorer, this unbelievable all-world talent. And when he gets on a roster, I don't care where it is, all of a sudden you have championship aspirations. Left side, Beal. The pass to Okogi. And here's Booker. Fires from deep. One up, one down. Two points with his first shot this game. A two guard that can beat you in a variety of ways. Booker is more than just about chucking up threes. But he will make them. Here's Wembenyama. Over Ayton. Back to Wembenyama. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Wembenyama has got six. And really, it's been a major aspect of their offense in the early stages here. Their success working the ball inside and getting points from close range. Johnson left side. 
He can't get it to go. Good D by Booker. So for Phoenix, their last game a loss to the Los Angeles Lakers. Durant, no good. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let's see if he can eventually get back on track. And it's Durant with the rebound. Suns have gone 50% from the field at this point. Four of eight. A Kogi, the pass to Booker, kicks to Durant. Misses the layup. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench if he keeps shooting it like that. He has been putrid here this quarter. Passes to Ayton. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Yeah, this is a maturity play here. Lots of pressure around him, and he doesn't speed up. And Brent, we know one guy who would have been valuable in any era. DeAndre. Yeah, with that size, he got that old school drawback to the post physical center uh, type of physique, but he works mostly on the block and doesn't create a lot down there. Each year, he's trying to add a little bit more to his repertoire. Last season, GA, the Suns trading tons of picks, plus good young players, all for Kevin Durant. And then this summer, trading for Bradley Beal, it's clear they're going all in, constructing a super team to try and bring Phoenix its first NBA title. Just five to shoot. The Spurs need to get a shot off here. Here's Jones. Again, the miss by the Spurs. For Phoenix, they've gotten five of ten shots to drop in this game so far. Right at the 50% mark. Johnson, the pass to Jones. And the rejection by Eaton. Oh, he has the size and can get up quickly. Eaton with the throwback. Oh, and the dunk by Beal. Great effort and gets in a little razzle-dazzle at the end of that one. Yeah, why not? Show a little creativity, get inside, move that ball around. Just make sure you score. Here's Wembenyama. He's got six. Over Eaton. Wembanyama, no good. Suns lean by four. High post, KD. Johnson on him. Durant. A rebound by the Spurs. And it's just one of those days, guys. He has just struggled to shoot the basketball. Beal with the steal. And here's the fast break. Beal leading the way. Shoots over Johnson. The rebound by Victor Wembanyama. And it's Jones with the ball for the Spurs. With some arc. And the rejection by Eaton. He was all alone on that one. Timeout, timeout. Assertive three-point shot by Johnson. He's working towards being an efficient long-range scorer. And the Suns call their first timeout of the game. So for the Suns, Bowl, he's checked in for Durant. Keita bates Diop comes in for Josh Okoge. And it's Damian Lee in for Bradley Beal. And Booker kicks to Lee. Here's Bowl. Can't connect from short range. He's so good at getting to the rim. Maybe tries to get a little bit too cute with that one. I thought he'd lay it straight up and in. The Spurs have gone 6 of 14 shooting the ball since the start of the game. Here's McDermott. Here's Collins. And they convert it last on attempt number three. Now Collins continues to play hard and determined to get inside to make it happen. Bowl the pass to Book. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. They get it back. Here's Ayton. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Ayton's got nine. Well, they're trying to take command of this game, but it's been competitive so far. Yeah, everybody trying to get away from one another, and the threads are keeping them close. This has been highly competitive. Wesley against Booker. Shots Wesley. good by Wesley. And the Spurs lead by one. Guys, no one team gaining control early on. Yeah, you look at the lead changes. Six already. Lee kicks to Aiton. Booker outside. Lee dishes to Booker. Lets it go from deep. It's good for a second make. He's made two or three so far. 
Fats Booker's specialty. So good at rising up and connecting off the catch. Knocks it loose. And we're going to have a jump, jump ball. ball. Jump it's ball, tied up ball. there. You too. Jump ball call. So it's San Antonio now. San Antonio's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Hey, go, go. Right here, right here. Wesley the pass to Osman. Pass to McDermott. Six on the shot clock. Can't get it to go. He's taken two and missed two. Phoenix has gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Bull, that's good. And you see defenses trying to be physical with Bull. That time, contact on the shot had no effect. Wesley the pass to Collins. Now Wesley. Wide open. Rebounded by DeAndre Ayton. Ayton's got six rebounds in the game. With the drive. Bull. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. First you know, Greg, on a per-minute basis, Bull Bull is one of the better rebounders and shot blockers in the NBA. Yeah, and it's not all done on the inside. He grabs a lot of long rebounds, and he contests shots on the perimeter. This guy is more than capable out there. And the first one at the line is good. And once the team to beat in the West, Greg San Antonio is trying to get back to that level. Well, they have a great organization, top to bottom. They're smart and battle-tested. I believe these guys will find a way. Eubanks, he's checked in for Phoenix. Gordon comes in for Lee. And like his father, Manu, Bowles' combination of size and scoring is very unique. The, the key for him is just staying healthy. The Spurs shooting their first shots from the stripe in this game. Yeah, last year, collectively, only 74% from the line. And good on the second, so he makes them both. We've got 28 seconds left in the first quarter. Now, here's Bull. D right on him. Down low. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And the size ball has poses problems for, for any defense, especially when he's trying his best to be aggressive in scoring. No good on the free throw. And he's good on the second. Spurs trailed by five. Now here's Graham. Over Booker. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. DeAndre, he has been the guy making things happen for the Phoenix Sun. Between his points and his rebounds, he was a star for him in that quarter. We'll take a quick break and then... the most of second chance opportunities and you're in there and active well, that can really put a lot of pressure on the defense. Akogi and Durant are the forwards. Bradley Beal is out there with Gordon and it's Eubanks in at the five down low. 
So that's the Suns five as we get into the second quarter. And right now, they're just focused on putting together good possessions. That's exactly how they got the lead. They ended up having multiple possessions in a row with good quality shots, knocked them down, and the game is fully in their control. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you very much, Kevin. His rookie year, Spurs coaches suggested that Jeremy Sohan shoot his free throws one-handed. He said, I thought they were joking. But the new form got his elbow under the ball and his percentages rose. Coach Popovich said a lot of guys wouldn't even want to try it, but he doesn't worry about what people think. He just wants to get better. Kevin? I can see it. All right, David. Thanks. Yeah, I know the book reads on Devontae Graham that he's a shoot-first guard, but he does have some nice passing skills. The three from KD. Vazell grabs the board. Just a enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. Rebound by the Suns. It's Beal on the wing, Graham defending. Not fair of a coach to send out one defender against Kevin Durant, still fighting through whatever challenges the D wants to throw at him. Spurs trail by seven. Over to the left wing. Graham with the bounce pass. Here's Vassell over Gordon. And the basket by Vassell. Well, interviewing former players, they say what they miss most is the camaraderie. What about you, Brent? I would say, Kevin, right behind the camaraderie is another C word, the competition. And there's no doubt that there's only a few ways that you could ever feed that. Playing at the highest level, being a member of the National Basketball Association, that's something special. And it's out of bounds, and they say it was last touched by Durant. Please check in for Eric Gordon. The Spurs also with the sub. Trey Jones is checked in for Devontae Green. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Pass to Wembanyama. Over Eubanks. That's good from Wembanyama on the assist by Jones. He didn't need to fade back. No one in his face, but he buried it anyway. Durant down low. And the pass to Eubanks. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. And San Antonio calls the first time out of the game. When you think about the Spurs, Greg, it's hard to believe how long Greg Popovich has been at the helm, isn't it? And it's hard to imagine another team will have the stability at head coach that the Spurs have had. Not too many coaches last decades anymore. Andre Ayton's checked in for Phoenix. Passes it to Johnson. Rebound by the Suns. Ayton's got seven rebounds in the game. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Durant. Rebound by Sohan. Not his best night from the field, but looking for other ways and finding them so he can chip in. And that's a foul called on Bradley Beal. First team foul. That's his first foul. McDermott's checked in for San Antonio. Doug McDermott. Quarter number two, around three minutes gone by. Jones drives in over Beal. Jones, no luck. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Johnson. Here's Wimbanyama. And terrific work on the offensive glass, and he picks up two. Suns leading by five. Durant with it. Jones covering. Jones against KD. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Durant's got eight points here in this quarter. Well, that basket must be widening out right now. And he's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. And he's not the biggest guy, but Vassell can get up there when he needs to. And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for the Suns. So smooth on the three from Durant. Boy, has he put his foot 
on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Here's Wim Banyama. Throws it down as the official calls the foul. It may be a three-point play. That one on Aiton. Oh, you've got to love his aggressiveness to finish inside. Well, his leaping ability gives him a great advantage. Man, you look at the hype surrounding Wembenyama. Greg, it's unreal. One of the best prospect profiles really since LeBron. Almost unfair to try and live up to the expectations, but he's got the tools to be one of the best to ever play. A shot by KD. No good. Looking at the Suns, they want to turn it around after the loss to the Lakers in Los Angeles. Pulls up on the wing. Johnson can't get it to go. Well, if you believe in the numbers, that mid-range shot is not a high-value shot, even with little or no defense on you. And there's Wembenyama on the assist by Jones. Jones has got six assists here tonight. Durant with it. Now guarded by Wembenyama. And the rejection by Wembenyama! Devin Booker, he's checked in for the Suns. Zach Collins checked in for San Antonio. Durant against Wembenyama. That shot, no good. Spurs trail by three. Outside, Jones. And it's Devin Booker with the rebound. And he has lost all confidence out there. Still not a single field goal made in the game. And they're able to recover. And that one's good, Aiton. I, I love his shot selection today. He set the bar for the rest of the team. And when Benyama throws it down. That's the kind of passing you want there. Work the ball around, keep it moving, try to get an assist on every bucket. And here's KD for three. Again, the miss by KD. That's another just bad decision on a night full of those. His shot selection tonight has been questionable at best. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Angling Booker, defended by Jones, takes the 13-footer. A nice shot by Booker. Booker's got eight points. And just lethal as a scorer from all over the floor. Mid range is in the range for Devin Booker. Let's it go from 11. Jones, no luck. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. KD, a scorer, so he's going to invite that kind of contact and force his way inside. Here's Jones after the main shot from KD. And with that shot, the Great Suns' lead is cut back down to three after the basket from Jones. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Now, here's a... Another shot. Kept alive. Tough sequence there. They just couldn't get it to fall. He just doesn't look like himself this quarter. Something's missing. Well, he's missing, and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language, and you just don't want to see that. I hate to say it, but if they're still trailing at the final buzzer, a lot of this is going to be felt by him. His shooting tonight has just been atrocious. To the wing right side. Ball, ball. I got your help, help side. McDermott down low. He's against Lee, and with out. that, the Phoenix lead is cut down to just one on the bucket for McDermott. But good to see McDermott down in the paint, and then he starts to show off a little bit more touch. And the Suns call time here. And, and Coach is looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Got to feel good as a coach if you make all those adjustments. Pull the right strings. That's what they love to do. Here's what Phoenix has got going on right now. Eubanks, he's checked in for DeAndre Ayton. Bowl comes in for Kevin Durant. Keita Bates Diop checked in for Lee. And Gordon subbed in for Beal. Diversified scoring in this one for him. I love when everyone can get involved. A, a full team effort. Osman kicks to Bullock. And there's the call on Jetty Osman. 
That's foul number two for him. Phoenix has gone 104 from three-point range in the second. Not a whole lot dropping out there for them. And the dunk by Booker. And Booker now in attack mode. That's the kind of hard-charging approach he needs to have to get points on the board. We've got 108 left in the second quarter. Jones, the best to come. Here's Osman. Pass to Jones. Pass to Collins. Five on the clock. Over Eubanks. Shot by Collins, no good. Suns leading by three. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. Spurs ball. Devontae Graham's checked in for Jones. Devontae Graham. 40 seconds left to play here in the second quarter. Here's Branham, still without a basket. To the middle. Collins, good. Zach capable of torching you from that spot. Collins looking very comfy. Here's Booker. And that one drops for him. Booker's got six in the quarter. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Here's Graham. The shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. Graham not just a jump shooter. Getting inside to find two. There's 14 seconds left to play in the first half. Booker the pass to Eubanks. And stolen by Graham. Here's Branham. Who's back up? And so it's Kevin Durant making headlines and highlights for the Sun. He put together quite a quarter, 13 points in all. And he looks to be planning for more. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks very much here with Greg Popovich. Pop in a close game. What makes the difference in the second half? Lots of things, you know. It's a game of mistakes. It's a game of playing well. Who knows? Always love your philosophy, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. For the Suns, the first quarter was pretty even. At the end of one, they were able to end up with a five-point lead. They were outscored by just a bit in the second quarter as they go into the break now holding just a one-point advantage. Kenny, let's start with you. What did you think about the Suns? Well, they made a concerted effort to get out on the fast break. Dunks, alley-oops, run the lanes at every opportunity, and it's wearing the defense down. Shaq, what's your take on San Antonio so far? Their unselfishness has kept them in the game. Just look at the assist them. Guys are making cuts. They move with the ball freely. You look to see the offense function like a weld oil machine. Sort of like myself. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. second half action for you and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first this one could go down to the last possession we're seeing a tremendous game from Victor Wembanyama yeah, he's been nothing short of a wall at the rim so far in this one single-handedly providing great rim protection been aggressive to block shots but also avoiding fouls that's a that's a heavy presence inside and after a fairly even first couple of quarters, the second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams try to gain an edge. On the court right now for the Spurs, the guard pair are Jones and Vassell. The forwards for him, Johnson and Sohan. And it's Wen Banyama in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. You know, here we are, Greg, looking at Victor Wembanyama. I mean, <laughs> can he get any taller? Wow! 
Well, he's already seven foot four, Kevin. But yes, what's amazing is that I still think he's grown, which is scary for the rest of the league. Throw no good for Ren Benyama. But Reg, the Suns going all in with the new big three, Beal, Booker, and Durant. <laughs> That's a lot of firepower. And they didn't hesitate to bring Beal into the mix. The shooting that they all provide is second to none. On paper, they are as talented as anyone. Beal can't get it to go. The Spurs have gone one of three since starting the second half. Here's Jones, and Durant sends it back. Yeah, they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. One of four to start the half. Looking to get it going. Buries the jump shot. Jones has got the lead up to three now for San Antonio. And just beating the open man. Nice recognition there from Vassell. Here's Durant. Outside for Beal. Back to KD. Here's the three, and there's Beal. That's good on the assist by Durant. Beal's got the game tied up here for Phoenix. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Spurs celebrated their 50th season in San Antonio last year. It was a tremendous legacy for one of the four ABA teams to join the NBA in 1976. And the Spurs hosted a game against the Warriors with more than 68,000 fans in attendance. It was the most ever for a regular season NBA game. These loyal fans continue to support their home team. Kevin? They've been so loyal. David, thank you. Absolutely. This is a great marker. Yeah, life's not fair, right? I mean, that is unfair. You do everything you can to contest Durant's shot, and it turns up to be an up fake instead. For Phoenix, they have shot 80% from the line tonight, going 4 of 5 so far. And last season, as a team, they knocked down 79% of their free throws, so those are numbers you'll be happy with. So, Greg, when you think about the Phoenix Suns, what do you think fuels them the most? Kevin, I mean, the fact that they had a 2-0 lead in the 21 NBA Finals and lost. This team is really battling to get back to that stage. And if they do, they want to take care of business this time. Now, here's Vassell. He's got six. Zoham, the pass to Vassell. Traps in the tray. Vassell. Vassell's got nine points. And there is no hesitation on Vassell's catch-and-shoot jumpers. Any sort of room, and he's letting it fly. Aiton kicks to Durant. Puts it up. Here's a Kogi. The layup missed. Well, a lot of players in the league are going to make that shot, and for him, it's pretty much automatic. It's a good defensive effort to prevent the layup. And with Tim Duncan and David Robinson, Greg, the legendary Spurs big man of days gone by, does that, do you think, add pressure for Victor Wembanyama? Maybe a bit, but he also has the resources of the same great organization behind him, and that's what'll help. So, Brent, thinking back to the 2020 bubble, the Suns went 8-0. Uh, clearly the springboard for that group. Yeah, amazing, Kevin. The team had missed 10 straight playoffs, and a lot of talk was made that that time in the bubble helped them to come together in ways that next season they weren't going to be denied. And they made the finals in 2021, and the franchise won 64 games in 2022. So the Suns are as bright as ever. Phoenix, no good that time either. Spurs leading by five. Here's Jones. That one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for him. Jones has got six in the quarter. And the advantage they have starting to increase. Things are coming together for them at a really opportune time. Coaches always talk about the first five minutes of the third quarter. They have definitely increased their energy level here. Well, his shots aren't dropping, and they haven't been able to keep pace, but they trust him enough to keep going to him, see if he can find it. They get the rebound. Johnson off on the layup. 
And this is what dominating the glass looks like. He just cannot be contained. Sort of reminding me of a little Ben Wallace action here from his years with the Pistons. He's been that much of a force rebounding the ball. Jones, the pass to Wembanyama. Back to Jones. He tries for three. It's hauled in by the Suns. Ayton's got rebound number 15 here tonight. Good. A nice assist from Booker. Now it's just a three-point San Antonio lead. Yeah, Ayton just swallowing up the defender there and then completes the play. Here's Vassell. Some solid defense from Ayton. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. Here's KD. And Ayton throws it down. Ayton out there playing poker with the flush. San Antonio's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. To the inside, here's Wimbanyama. Outside, Katie for the lead. And the rejection by Wembenyama! Second chance shot. San Antonio with the rebound. And there's the call on DeAndre. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And now only one away from being in the penalty. And the Suns making a change here. Lee's checked in. And San Antonio also making a switch. Wesley's checked in. Once again off the mark by San Antonio. Suns trailing. Here's a Kogi. Dishes to Lee. The pass to a Kogi. Suns moving the ball around. Beal from long range. Buries it from three-point range. Beal's got his third basket of the night right there. I don't think the defense was ready for that. That was deep. Johnson outside. Passes it to Sohan. Here's Vassell. No good. And they can't put an end to this drought. Phoenix has gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Here's Booker. Back to Lee. Here's a Kogi. He kicks to Booker. Tries again. That one goes in. And now a four-point Suns lead. And boy, have they been hitting the backboard time in out, this game out. or what? Kind of surprising. It's such a tight game. San Antonio calls timeout. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Wesley. Shots good by Wesley. And with that one, it ends in an 11-0 run by Phoenix. Beal, the pass to Okogi. Inside. Here's Bull. And now, courtesy of the 2K leaderboard, here are the teams that led the NBA in block shots last year. The Suns fifth. Awesome rim protection from them last year, and it was because of one thing. They commit to intimidating anyone that comes in the lane. And he makes the first. Spurs making a switch here. Graham's checked in. And so Bull nails both of them. Impeccable hook from the line since halftime. Spurs trail by four. Here's Osman. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. Back to Gordon. Out to the right wing. Here's Bates Diop. Collins grabs the miss. Collins has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Graham, the pass to Osman. On deep, Collins. Rebound by the Suns. 
Akogi's got his fifth rebound in this one. To the left side wing. One twelve left in the third quarter of the game. All right, a chance to check out stats for Beal. He's coming off an excellent season. He was around 23 points a game last year. Five assists and four rebounds. And so much of what they do on offense depends on how he plays. Well, he attracts serious attention from the defense, and that really does open up the backside for a lot of his teammates to take full advantage. Here's Osman. For the tie, Bullock. And it's all evened up. Yeah, that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple 100 years from now. Trust me. Pass to Bates Dia. To the paint. Here's Ball. And the dunk by Ball. That's just too easy for Ball. Once he gets the right position, his focus there is on the finish. Here's Osman. Phoenix grabs the miss. He may not be the strongest inside presence in the league, but still, he's got to convert from there. Bull, that's good. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. Sticking to the high percentage shots, playing smart with the lead. Now here's Graham. Three-pointer. And Bull pulls it down. Bull's got his fourth rebound in this one. Gordon kicks to Beal. Pass to Bull. Here's Bates Diop. Bowl inside. The third quarter comes to a close. Phoenix ahead. They finish off the third quarter with a tremendous... And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. So with Durant sitting on the bench, this is who Frank Vogel is out there. They've got Bradley Beal. He's out there with Devin Booker. Gordon is out there with Drew Eubanks. And it's Bates Diop in at the four slot. Now here's Booker. Oh, good on the triple. Beal against Johnson. The pass to Sohan. Over Gordon. A nice shot by Sohan. Sohan's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for San Antonio. Booker the pass to Beal. And a great assist by Booker as that one goes in. Booker's got three assists tonight. And it's Jones with the ball for the Spurs. Kicks it to Collins. We play just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Jones, no one around him, trains the three-pointer. Wow, has he flipped the switch at halftime. Much more effective here in the second half. He calls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. On the wing, Johnson to tie it up. Eubanks grabs the miss. Well, he's using the force, but in the worst way possible. He just needs to dial it back and look to work the ball around the floor to his teammates. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Here's Jones after Eric Gordon's bucket. Branham the pass to Jones. Johnson left side. Shot clock at six. Kicks it out to Collins. Eubanks grabs the miss. Eubanks got four rebounds now tonight. Gordon the best debates Dion. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. 
Now it's a seven-point Phoenix lead. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. Here's Jones. It's tipped. And they hold a huge advantage on the backboard. Gordon finds Booker. Can't hit that one. Good work defensively by Jones. Spurs trail by seven. To the inside. A nice shot by Sohan. And you don't want to allow too many of those short ones with the game right now in the balance. So the wing on the left. Nice ball movement by Phoenix. And Beal kicks to Booker for three. Off the mark for the fourth time this game. He is seven for 11 now. But still, eventually you got to feel like he'll start knocking those down again. Here's Branham. And that one hits back iron. Suns leading by five. Outside Gordon. Booker fires from way outside. Again, the miss by Booker. He's getting good looks on the floor, but he simply cannot bury anything right now. He's got to stay confident, though, because everyone knows he can hit those shots. Collins. Pass to Sohan. Jones against Booker. Six to shoot. And another shot. And it's blocked. One-on-one -on -one fast break. Picked off in midair. Feeds to Collins. And finish off by Collins. An emerging part of his game. Johnson's becoming a better playmaker. And the Suns call time here. Well, they've been turning that ball over way too much, and they really need to address this if they want to win this game. I love boys. Aiton, he's checked in for the Suns. Durant comes in for Gordon. Spurs making a switch here. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Alder. David? During that break, Frank Vogel had some real words for his team. The coach was really hyping up his guys. He told them, this is what it's all about, fellas. You're in this spot for a reason. Go out and take this win. Let's see if they can follow those instructions, guys. Thank you, David. Now here's Booker. Kelvin Johnson unable to get his last shot to go. And the pressure he put on that shot forced the miscue. Those are all the little things about effort there. He just gets out there and contests, and that's just enough. Here's Jones. Good D by Booker. Phoenix leading by three. Pass to Durant. And it's Beal in the corner. Back to KD. Trying to end the drought. Oh, he jams it right over Rembenyama! Yeah, there's some explosiveness inside Kevin Durant. He shows it off there. And that last look brought to you by the AT&T 5G Slam King. Aiton against Wembenyama. Jones the pass to Vassell. Johnson kicks to Vassell. Pass to Sohan. No good with the triple. Phoenix has gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. And it's Durant missing. Spurs trail by five. Beal with the steal. Stolen away. Now the pass to Sohan. Jones against Booker. Looking to end his cold spell. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It goes on Devin Booker. He had a defender all over. Bull Bull. He's jacked in for Durant. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for Phoenix. Great job by this team closing out. Blocking a bunch of shots and just a tremendous effort defensively. Well, if we add another thing to it, it's about the urgency they've played with. I mean, you look at the eyes of these guys. They're focused, wanting to get up tempo, and that's helped them score on the fast break. And that one falls for Jones. And so Jones nails both of them. 
Well, when he gets into a groove at the free throw line, it doesn't just last for tonight. This might be two weeks, two months, something like that. This is a debate DM. Bowl inside. Rebound San Antonio. Sohan's got rebound number five here tonight. And they get the rebound, but guys, that's been the issue throughout the game. Phoenix leading by three. And there's the drive. Outside, Beal takes a three. Johnson with the rebound. Johnson's got five rebounds tonight. Shoots from 12. Here's Wimbanyama. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Really good work on the interior. That is a critical two points there. That was an ideal scenario really for him. Point-blank range and also a size advantage. A Kogi's checked in for Phoenix. At the line for one. And it's tied up with that one. And really, the tension could not be higher right now. And he looked like he was shooting free throws at practice. What a cool customer. Here's Aiton, and Aiton throws it down. How about a pivotal hoop from DeAndre Aiton? San Antonio's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth. Outside, Jones. Into the lane. Banked in off the glass. Jones has got it all tied up now for San Antonio. But that play never gets old. The pick and roll will still be an offensive staple a hundred years from now. Trust me. Pass to a Kogi. Back to Booker. Pass to Beal. And out of bounds as San Antonio gains possession. San Antonio ball. That could be costly. When the game is hanging in the balance, the last thing you can afford is to turn it over. And here's Wen Binyam. He'll bring it up for the Spurs. One thirty-two left here in the fourth quarter. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. And there's the pass to Akobe. And that one's good, Ayton. Ayton's got four points this quarter. A big man coming with an attacking mindset. That's something for the defense to deal with. And Ayton is dealing. Rembenyama down low. He's covered by Ayton. Rembenyama, no good. The Suns leading. Beal, the pass to Ayton. Kicks it out to Booker. Suns moving the ball around. It's Beal on the wing. Rocket six. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And Bradley Beal is the go-to guy. Big chance at the line coming up. At the line for your Suns. Good on the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. And the Suns making a change here. Bowles checked in. Second one is good. Being both at the line, it's a four-point ball game. Perfect from the line. It's now a two-possession game. Time called here. The Spurs decide to talk it over. They're trailing by four. There's 47 seconds left to play in the final quarter. And now, a moment to present the New Balance Player of the Game, DeAndre Ayton. And the D tried to get physical with him down low tonight, and it really backfired. Instead, he's just torn them up. He was aggressive, inviting the contact, and really just taking it straight to him. Durant's checked in for bowl. There's 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's good from long range. That is world class. Love seeing that there. A huge possession, and he nets it. Left side, KD. Pass to a Kobe. Shot clock at five. Here's Durant. And denied, he sends it right off the glass. When Benyama against Zayton. Johnson left side. It falls! Timeout, timeout. What a big-time shot from Johnson. This kid's confidence is through the roof. 
and the Suns call time here. They're trailing by one. 11 seconds left in the fourth. Guys, what's your take? Yeah, always intriguing to see what a coach draws up in this situation. And sometimes not just what a coach draws up, but who he has execute in these moments. It falls! And how about that? Aiton stepping up, wanting the pressure. San Antonio with the timeout. Who's ready for t-shirt time? Get on your feet and get the offense! And Benyama, that's for two. Oh, the all or nothing shot. No good. And so it's Phoenix who straight by with the win. That was a fun night of basketball and fabulous finish as they continued to wait out until the very last moment to seal it. And there are so many times when you see these tight games won at home, that advantage of having that crowd behind you oftentimes is the ultimate X factor. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Devin, not the prettiest of wins, but you got it. What got it for you? Well, we just, we just wanted to keep plugging away, keep moving the basketball. We got good shots in the first half. They didn't fall, but we just stayed confident and, you know, stayed aggressive. So, you know, it was one of those games that you got to grind out, and uh, that's what we did. That's how you build a great record through the season. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, D.A., thanks again. And that'll do it for the first game of the NBA season. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.